What's going on, everybody? It's Blackjack. Welcome back to the Aurora Red Foxes Dynasty. Aurora now at 4-1 all the year, having that big upset over USC earlier on, are looking to continue their winning ways over the Arkansas State Red Wolves. It's a battle of the Reds today as the Red Foxes will be at home to take on Arkansas State. They are picked to win this one as both teams are undefeated thus far in conference play. So this game has a lot of stakes in terms of standings. I will be expecting Arkansas State to run the football a lot as they bring back quarterback Justice Hansen this year, as well as Warren Wan, who has torched us in the past. So it will be interesting to see how that defense cooperates, especially now with Zach Leventhal taking over at quarterback. And so here we are today at Red Rock Stadium in Aurora, Colorado, as your Aurora Red Foxes take on the Arkansas State Red Wolves, a battle of the Reds. And of course, your Red Foxes coming out in their cherry red uniform. It's probably my favorite combo of theirs, the all red, black lids, black socks, classic Aurora look. Uh, the Icy Whites are nice too, but we're going to look forward to Aurora with Zach Leventhal out there in the 13th best pass offense in all of college football. Kick off back deep here to Cam Frazier, the star freshman. He'll take it from the five and try to fight through some tacklers and can't do so as he gets knocked down at about the 21-yard line. And that is where Aurora will start today. Zach Leventhal out there at quarterback again. Chandler Gaines benched. Last week, and Leventhal had a pretty good performance. Got that pass off that's going. They'll go triple option here. Pitch out the Widgley goes right over his head. Just didn't get his hands on it. He would have had a lot of yardage in front of him as this run game hasn't really gotten going so far this year between Winslet and Timberlake. Thankfully, doesn't result in a turnover. Now here on third and four, Leventhal rolling out right as none of his receivers get open, and he fumbles the ball out of bounds. Two fumbles here early on with Aurora. They do need to work on holding on to the football. It'll be first and 10, offset I formation in the pistol. Leventhal doesn't like what he sees, so he changes it up here. Goes play action. Leventhal out right over EJ with the catch. First down, breaks a tackle, and stiff arms a man on his way out of bounds after a gain of 18. Aurora at midfield here on first and 10. Hand off. Here's Marcus Timberlake getting his first touch of the day. It's a carry for seven yards, and he'll take that one for second and three. Pistol formation here for Leventhal. Single back, it's Timberlake. They're going to go with the screen play for him. And that gets you enough. Three yards there on the reception. Marcus Timberlake's first catch of the day. And that'll get them the first down. Inside handoff here on the read to Winslet. So drag a defender forward and carry for five yards. So far, Aurora's offense, despite the few hiccups early on, looking all right. Second and five, Leventhal looking good underneath route here. The comeback for Isaiah Irving, he picks up six. And again, Aurora's offense looks very cohesive right now with Leventhal out there slinging it. Leventhal, throw, and picked off! Spoke too soon. Picked off by the linebacker, Ingram. He was looking for Oferije over the middle, and Nick Ingram, I mean, he just skies up. I mean, that's a great athletic play by Nick Ingram to go ahead and get that. Levin, uh, sorry, uh, Oferije was open 10 yards downfield ahead of him, but that results in the first turnover today for the Red Foxes. And now here comes Justice Hansen taking this carry for himself for seven yards. He calls his own number. It'll be second and three. Here come the Wolves out. Screen here for uh, McGinnis. The wide receiver there goes ahead and rumbles forward for about six yards. And now Arkansas State looks to go ahead and put up an early score. Second and seven from their own 30. Hanson looking out left, intercepted! Ishmael Finn Michaels jumps in front of that one and he's going in. Touchdown, pick six for the Aurora Red Foxes. Ishmael Finn Michaels gets his first interception of the year. And boy, was it a big one. We've been waiting for him to kind of show up thus far in his award career. And boy, did he come up big here, getting the pick six. And that was great coverage there. I mean, he read it perfectly, stayed behind, waited to jump, and he gets his first career touchdown, does Ishmael Finn Michaels. Kickoff deep here by Sean O'Shea, and Marshall will just kneel that one in the end zone. And the Red Wolves will start all, all over again on offense here. First and 10 at their own 25, and Justin McInnes only takes that one for one yard. Hansen getting directions from the sideline as they hurry it back up. And off here to Warren Wan. He's caused, caused problems before in the past for the Red Foxes, and he's off to an early start here with the nine yard carry, picking up the first. 
Here's Hanson on first and 10. Quick throw out left, and who is it again? It's Ishmael Finn Michaels out there on that left side doing a great job as he bats that one down. Third and six. Ball at the 40 now. Hanson, they're setting up the screen here for Warren Wan. Warren Wan able to sneak through Montgomery who had the leap over one of the uh, blockers there and just got out of Wan's way. It's a big play there as now they line up at about the 30 yard line but a false start will move them back here on second and eight and push them back to the 40. We'll see if that has any effect here as Long subs in for Wan to go ahead and push forward for about seven yards with a stiff arm. Third and seven as they hurry it up. We're out in a four, it looks like a two four nickel package here. Ball going deep downfield. It's Melvin Michaels again there in coverage, but that ball sailed over the receiver's head out of bounds. So they'll settle for a field goal here. This one about a 55 yarder. Doinks off the upright. The Doink special here for the Red Wolves and that will result in no points and Aurora comes back out again on offense. First and 10, they're going triple option again and this time it is perfectly covered. They tried to get it out to Winslet there as there was some room for him, but the defenders stayed home. They were very disciplined and it results in a loss of four. Here's Leventhal now on second and 14. He just backs up as the pressure bore down on him. He had nowhere to go. That's a big loss of 14 on that sack and this pass nearly gets picked off. Batted down by Kevin Moore of a safety. And Aurora will have to punt here on 4th and 28. Big punt though here from uh, Darius as that ball uh, hits, the, uh, uh, hits the ground off of Marshall's hands. And Marshall's still able to make something out of it as he crosses the 50 yard line. Darius Watts had a good punt there and Marshall somehow recovers and they get past midfield to start this drive. Here's Warren Wand on the read option. Doesn't go anywhere there. They're all over that one. Montgomery Ward coming in to bring him down right at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, blitz coming. Sakamoto there on the corner blitz. Here's Warren Juan trying to fight his way towards that first down marker. And he is brought down just shy of it. They're gonna mark it third and inches. Hunter Hansen here on the read option, able to get past for the first down. And he's wrestled down by Victor Vance, like the strong safety, able to bring him down around the 25. It'll be first and 10. Arkansas State now with a shotgun, single back. Hansen able to slip past Andre Swift somehow and gets leveled hard by Sam Montgomery. I don't know how Swift didn't get an arm on him, but that goes for 14 in the first. Hanson now gonna go try to go draw play here for Warren. Juan goes nowhere. Rangi Unitoa causing havoc in the backfield. That's a loss of three. Now here they go on third and 12. Hanson being chased down. It's Quinton Cage who comes in with a sack, six yards. And Arkansas State will just have to settle for three as they make the field goal. Now here's Paul Phillips to return this one. He's been dangerous this year. And this time he breaks to the outside, getting to about the 40 yard line before he's wrestled out on a 41 yard return there. And that gives a world great field position to start this next drive. Here's Leventhal on first and 10. Getting Isaiah Irving in there on the quick slant. That'll go for four, decent pickup there for second and six. Here they come, it's a offset eye for, no, it's an offset eye formation here, but they're gonna move Irving in motion right. This normally means that they're running left. Here's Winslet, big hole. Winslet to the outside, getting past the 40 to the 30 and shoved out at around the 27 yard line. Man to man coverage, they moved everyone to the right and it set up a great 31 yard carry there for Vernon Winslet. It's Timberlake now takes this one for six yards and, and creates a second and four opportunity there. That was kind of an interesting design for uh, all of a sudden it just Arkansas State to just move absolutely all the way out to the right, not even just whatsoever. As Leventhal is running out of time here, he's adjusting the play. And Leventhal is going to be called for a delay of game here on second and four. Third and nine as they move back five. Here's Leventhal. Look it. Can't find anyone. Nearly picked off again, Nick Ingram. That time, that's just a bad pass. Trying to look for Willoughby Singler uh, to the outside there. Got it to him way too late. And Aurora will settle for three. And here's Warren Juan now on another carry. He'll take that one for seven yards as he pushes forward for second and three. He's got five carries, 15 yards today. Here's Hanson again on another handoff here to Warren Juan, but he goes nowhere. Brought down in the backfield by the tackling cornerback, Ashita Sakamoto. Third and three. 
Buried it up again, and Warren Wan, another carry. He goes nowhere. The pass rushing Connor Bruce making a play to stop the run. Excellent job by him here as now Leventhal takes the carry here on a read on second and nine to pick up six. It'll be third and three. Leventhal will go play action here and not able to get enough time. He's brought down. Sacked in the backfield by Jared Phipps. A loss of 10 there as he was trying to look for his hot read that was Timberlake. Just not able to get out of his uh, route fast enough. And a punt here by Darius Watson. Looked like it was going to be short, but not able to get in in time as the returner. And he takes a fortunate bounce to the 21-yard line out of bounds. So good punt there by Darius Watson set up. Uh, Arkansas State with uh, not so great field position, but a good pass here to Omar Bayless. We'll go ahead and get them a second and one here as Hunter Hansen takes the read. Sheds one tackle for Machida Sakamoto, but Finn Michaels goes ahead and brings him down there as he picks up the first. Now with the 39-yard line. Here's Hunter Hansen on second and 10. Pressure bearing down on him. It was Orangi Unitoa who brought the heat. And Justice Hansen is just able to go ahead and escape that and pick up a gain of eight for your manageable third and uh, two here. Here comes Aurora sending six. And he's able to get it out in time to McInnes, who picks up 11 on that reception over the middle. First and 10. 2.18 left to go here. Here's Hanson. Pressure coming again from Unatoa. And Kilgore has to wrestle down Kyle Richard. Just at about the 30 yard, 35 yard line there for second and two. Hanson again. Pressure bearing down, but able to get it out quickly to Jalen Marshall. 21 yards there towards the sideline. It was good pressure. They got there just not quick enough. But here's Warren Wan here on another carry. He's able to bounce off his own uh, offensive lineman and pick up uh, eight there for second and two. The Red Wolves looking to score here. Hunter Hansen calling his own number. He was bumped in the backfield and somehow was able to stay on his feet. And the Red Foxes couldn't converge fast enough there and he's able to get positive yards. Here's third and inches though. And that pass is broken up by Montgomery Ward able to come in there and swat that one away. Arkansas State will settle for three. As Aurora comes out now, and they'll go read option here for Timberlake. Timberlake able to break it to the outside. He's to the 40. Pass midfield, getting to the other 40. A big gain there on the read option. 35 yards. That's what Aurora needed. They immediately see themselves in scoring position. With a minute 16 left, here's Leventhal. Rolling out to his right. Going to throw underneath here for David Blanchard. Able to rumble forward for nine yards. They got a minute seven left now as the clock ticks down. 50 sec uh, seconds left now on the clock. They move Winslet in motion left. Here's a carry now for Timberlake trying to juke his way for that first down. And they're going to mark him short. So they've got to hurry it up now. Third and inches as Leventhal is getting instructions. Handoff. Timberlake straight up the middle able to pick up the first. After a five-yard carry there. And it looks like Aurora is going to call a timeout. Second and ten now for the Red Foxes. Here's Leventhal. To the air. Going outside. There's DJ Smith. He makes his first appearance here, and he seems to be clutching at his chest. He's down on the play, so he'll have to sit out this next play here. First and 10. 11 seconds to go. They still got one timeout to the Red Foxes. Leventhal looking. End zone. Touchdown. Chuck for EJ. 15 yards to the end zone. Leventhal with a dart in there. He had to put it in a tight space. Right in between two defenders. I mean, it's right where it has to be. Just outside the outstretched hand of that defender. Chuck holds on despite the contact. And Aurora will go into halftime with a 17-6 lead here over Arkansas State. A rather erratic or all over the place half there from Aurora. But they do find themselves up 17-6. Entering the third quarter here as they go with a wide receiver Sweep right across there with McInnes as he picks up five. Here's third and five now. And Aurora's defense, however, has not been erratic. They have done a great job shutting down this Arkansas State offense, holding them only six points in the first half here as they'll have to punt it here on fourth and five. And this gives us the dangerous Paul Phillips here out from his own 20. Getting out to the 40. Cutting back inside, trying to find a little gap there. He brought all the defenders in, and there was a small little crevice he probably could have snuck through. And boy, he would have been off to the races at that point, but he gets a return of 20 there. 
First and 10, let's see what the offense will do now. Leventhal gonna pass here. Rolling out to his right, able to pass out here to David Blanchard. Coming off of his route, it looked like an angle route there for him. It's a very popular, uh, sorry, uh, popular route there in this Aurora offense, and that'll pick up the first. Now on second and 10, they're gonna go option here with Santiago Rojas. There's the big boy, usually <clears throat> not played as much as we would like to see him on this offense. He picks up uh, nine. Third and two now for Aurora. Hand off to Timberlake. Able to juke inside. Sheds another tackle. Fights through another one as he leads forward and picks up 15. There's Marcus Timberlake. He's finally starting to come to four over here as he picks up 15 in the first. Timberlake, another carry here. I'm trying to <laughs> have a repeat of the same thing he had on the previous carry as he picks up six, fighting through some tackles. Third and one, handoff. Winslet as they uh, do a change of pace here and he's able to wiggle free and pick up six through the hole. It's good blocking there by the left guard, John James. He's been excellent this year. First and 10, Leventhal looking, can't find anyone. Just gotta throw this one out of bounds as he was flushed out of the pocket. Now third and 10. They go four wide here. Leventhal in the shotgun. Leventhal looking all the time in the world, and he finds DJ Smith. DSPN for six. I mean, that's wide open. They run a, a nice little concept there where he goes out, up, and then in. And he was wide open, splitting the zone coverage there. And uh, DJ Smith gets his second receiving touchdown of the year. Now first and 10 here for Arkansas State after they picked up the first on the last play. Here's Hanson looking out to his right, able to find Kyle Richard as he picks up 12 yards on that reception for first, ten, first and 10. They're at midfield now. Hunter Hanson with one uh, only there in the backfield with them. Hanson looking to get away, able to shed the tackle there of that looked like Quinton Cage and fought forward there for about a gain of three. It'll be second and seven. Should have gone for a sack. This quick pass out here to Omar Bayless, able to get out of bounds as Montgomery shoves him out, and he picks up 12 there for the first. Roy's defense has been pretty good thus far. We'll see if they can get another stop here. Quick screen pass out here to Warren Wand. Not able to get much, though. He looked a little slow on that play. We'll see if they spell on the back. They do. Here on third and four. They're going screen again, and uh, pressure not able to get there to Hanson. I don't know how they didn't. It looked like they were kind of preparing to go and bring down Hanson, but then they recognized the screen and defended the screen, and that gave Hanson a whole lot of room out of the back way. And as he escaped to his right to pick up the first, he doesn't escape here, however. Craig Kilgore comes in there to drag him down on the read option. Loss of two. Second and 12 now. Johnson in motion left. And Hanson's gonna keep it himself again, able to break the tackle of Stephon Porter. But Justin, uh, Justice Hanson not able to escape Craig Kilgore there as he's brought down after a gain of two. That'll force third and ten. Hanson, got to throw short here. Marshall not going to get there. Two yards, not enough. It's Quentin, uh, sorry, Montgomery Ward who comes up there and makes the play. And Arkansas State will settle for three again. 9-24 now. Aurora up by 15. And Zach Leventhal will take that carry there for a gain of five. Third and four for Leventhal now. Going out right, throws quickly. Will be Sinclair. That was dangerous, but he holds on and fights forward and gets the seven. Uh, sorry, the four and more to pick up the first, a gain of seven. Second and eight now for Leventhal. Looking, rolling out right again as he's pressured and he's going to try to fight for that first down yard. It's dangerous there. Could have gotten crushed, but it comes up all right as he picks up seven. It'll be third and one. Handoff, wins it. Jukes forward and picks up enough there for the first down. I think if he just followed the left guard, John James, there, he might have had a much bigger carry. Second and 12 now for Leventhal. Looking, now having to roll out to his left. Can't find anything, but throws downfield. Able to get Willoughby Sinclair open there on the scramble drill. They were all running comeback routes. And somehow, Leventhal able to squeak this one right through. Oh, I see. He read the linebacker's eyes there. He saw the linebacker moving to the left and fitted in a tight space there for Sinclair. Winsley here on second and five, however, moves backwards. Justin Clifton knifing his way through the backfield and bringing him down for a loss of four. So we'll see what Leventhal can do here on third and nine as he's adjusting the play here. 
with all looking. Goes out to his right for Cam Frazier. That's the first time we've called his name today in terms of receiving, and he only picks up three. That's not enough for the first. So Aurora will settle for a field goal here. Sean O'Shea from about, looks about like 49, and this one pushes left. The wind was pushing towards the left about 11 miles per hour going that way, and that way, that is where the kick sails. The first time I've seen Sean O'Shea miss a field goal in a long time. Arkansas State takes possession, though, but with only 2.43 remaining on the clock here on third and three. Hanson looking out short to Barron, able to just fight through. Craig Kilgore and pick up the first. That keeps him alive here. First and ten. Hanson going to keep it himself here, kind of wiggling his way through. Fights through the tackle of Kilgore, and it's Van Slick who has to bring him down. Second and six. They're trying to stay alive here. It's still a two-possession game and a stiff arm straight through Van Slyke as Dante Devine has to come in and make the hit. They pick up the first. Now on second and 15. They move the tight end in motion right. Here's Hanson. Gonna go deep here. Looking for it all. Oh, and it's Ishmael Van Michaels able to bat it away. He's been great today in man-to-man -to -man coverage. Excellent job there. Third and 15. Pressure coming, they run the screen and it goes nowhere. They're in perfect position that time. Quick Kilgore able to bring them down and that'll be fourth and 19, they're going for it. They have to here with a minute 18 left. Hanson deep, again, Ishmael Finn Michaels in perfect position, bats that one away. And now with three timeouts remaining, they're gonna try to run it out here and it's Simberlake nearly picking up the first down here with a minute 11 left. Nine yards there on that read option carry. Second and one now. This to put it away. Timberlake got it up for the first down and then some. He picks up 14 to push him over 100 on the day. And Aurora will kneel it out to take home a 24 to nine victory over the Red Wolves. Red Foxes run wild today. A great performance on defense by the Red Foxes. Not so outstanding on offense. The offense only put up 17. You gotta remember, it was that pick six by Finn Michaels that got him their first score of the day. So while the offense didn't look so great, this was a very encouraging performance by this defense as they looked excellent. Sam Mashburn moves on and his Red Foxes to four and one on the season. <clears throat> the offense looked efficient enough. I think Leventhal did a great job as a game manager today. 12 completions on 20 attempts, 121 yards, two TDs, and an interception. There was that one sack where he lost 14 that was really questionable to me. I thought he should have thrown it away, and he didn't. Marcus Timberlake finishes with 13 on 13 attempts with 102 carries. Winslet also had 56 yards on nine carries. Chuckle for EJ got the one touchdown, as well as DJ Smith coming in there on the four wide receiver set to go ahead and get that touchdown as he came back from injury. And then on the defensive side of things, Craig Kilgore was amazing at picking up a lot of tackles today. 10, two of them for a loss. <clears throat> and then, of course, you can't forget the Ishmael Finn Michaels interception, the pick six that got Aurora on top, and they never looked back from there. An amazing effort today by the Red Foxes. I'm sorry, they moved to five and one, not four and one. They were four and one already off the season. Kind of losing track a little bit on the season a little bit here. Uh, seven and 11 on third down conversions. That's a big stat for them as they kept pushing and moving the ball. They only had to punt two times today, uh, which, at, which was a net average of 52 and a half yards. It was a great job there uh, by Watts um, going ahead and pinning the Red Wolves in really bad field position. So let's go ahead and talk about recruiting after such a big win for Aurora. The best prospect on our board, Demarcus Moore out of St. Joseph, is proving why he might be the best quarterback in the state this year. Although St. Joseph's has been struggling. Uh, we would have expected them by now to have been a much more dominant school. They're a Catholic prep school um, and probably one of the best football programs historically here in Colorado, but they've struggled. And Demarcus has also struggled a little bit passing wise. There's some worry with his touch. Usually when he has to lob a pass, but when he has to zip one in there, he gets in there in a heartbeat and he's typically pretty accurate on those, uh, those bullet passes. Um, I think that's going to be one of the things that we're going to have to improve upon him with is his accuracy when he takes the step to the next level. It seems like he will be coming to Aurora, but the thing I'm most excited about is his athleticism. He's a converted wide receiver, now playing quarterback. He does have the arm strength, but here you can see 
his ability to go ahead and slip past the benders. And we've seen with Miguel de Sousa how explosive this offense can be when you have a running running back, uh, sorry, running quarterback that can scramble and make plays on his feet. Speaking of making plays on his feet, Joey Hammett, the running back out of Durango. Durango not having many problems. They've only got one loss this year. They took on Aurora this week and rolled over them. Hammett has great acceleration, great speed. It's more straight line speed for me. He's not as shifty as I would like uh, out of my running backs, but for the speed that he does have and the occasional strength that he does show and the fight that he has, I really like Joey Hammett. Really good receiving back as well great hands and again once he's in the open field it's just a foot race so if you give him enough separation he will burn you and I like him out of Durango as well as their tight end Josh Shaw big big target and I think that if we bring in Josh Shaw you'll see Mashburn going to more of a two tight end set watch him here on this play though laying out for that catch could you imagine Josh Shaw and Overeem to get together making catches like that Tight ends have usually been a big part of Mashburn's offense. And even now with Choco for region, you're seeing just how important they are. He likes going to guys like David Blanchard as well. So I think with the both of them, Josh Shaw and Oprah Region together, this could be a very potent offense. And I think Josh Shaw is probably one of the more overlooked prospects that we haven't talked a lot about thus far in recruiting. On the defensive side of things, though, a coverage linebacker is drawing a lot of interest. Uh, Steve Duncan out of Littleton. Littleton no longer a, a, the uh, sorry, no longer looking like they're going to be defending for the state championship this year as they've taken a step back from Mondrasso. But he, uh, I like Steve Duncan here. Um, he's normally a coverage linebacker, but more who is a option running team. He showed a lot of patience and a lot of discipline against, and made some great tackles, great plays. Stuck with whoever he was assigned to whether it was the quarterback or the running back and I think would be a great fit on this Aurora team. Now recruiting wise you guys wanted to know how will you be able to go ahead and insert yourselves for next year. Well I have an answer for you. I need to begin filling out the rosters for next year in terms of the high schools and I want to make them prevalent again. So my idea for next year is that I'll actually start live streaming high school games and keep the high school games exclusive to YouTube. I, some people have really wanted me to go back to streaming to YouTube. Um, and it's a little bit unfair that it's like the Twitch playbacks come in a little later than expected, especially for uh, festive streams. But I think the high school thing, I'm gonna keep exclusive to YouTube and do that here. So when we get to the off season next year, I'm going to release a video for you guys to go ahead and submit senior year prospects for the schools and then I'll just kind of pick based upon uh, where I want to place people, uh, what school you apply to and all that. So there'll be more details specifically when we get to the off season, but there will be a chance for you to do that during the off season. And hopefully now, uh, I'm sorry, I'm overcoming a little bit of a cold as well. So if I sound a little bit off, that's why. Um, but there will be a chance for you guys to go ahead and do that then. And then I hope to get rolling a little bit more of the season now that uh, the Batten draft class will be out of the way. Um, and I can focus a little bit more on this series and build it a lot more. So thank you guys for your patience and your dedication to this Aurora Red Foxes dynasty. I know it's been inconsistent at times, but I'm doing my best to go ahead and pump out this content for you guys. And I thank you all for your support nonetheless. I will see you all next week with more Red Foxes football. See you then.